Yo, what is going on guys? Miss or misleading here. And I know I don't normally do build videos, but there's just such a very, very good hunter build this season. I know a lot of you guys have probably seen the Liar's Handshake build, but I bet a lot of you don't know that it makes you almost unkillable if you run the right setup. I'm not joking, you end up having like 75% damage reduction. You can survive Nova Bombs and Crucible. You can stay inside of a Chaos Reach. You survive all of these things. It's definitely gonna get fixed because it's quite insane. So first things first, to make it a proper damage build. You don't want to get Liar's Handshake, like I said, and then any shotgun with one-two punch. This is just so you can do insane damage. If you don't care about that, I'm going to show you guys how you can just stay alive all the time. First things first, you want Flow State on, so you can become Jolted by defeating a Jolted Target. I mean, so you can become Amplified by defeating a Jolted Target. And Lethal Current, which makes your, after you dodge, your next melee has increased lunge and jolts, which means you're going to jolt a target, which means you're going to become Amplified. And then once you become Amplified here, your dodge recharges faster, you're more resilient, big keyword there, more resilient while dodging, and your reload speed is greatly increased. So with those two on, you want to pair it with Combination Below. And the grenade doesn't matter. I like Storm Grenade or Lightning, or even Pulse if you really wanted. And then for the Fragment, Arc of Magnitude, so your grenade grenades last longer. Spark of Volt, so if you don't want to get a melee kill, your finishers will instantly make you amplified. Plus, you get plus 10 recovery from that. Spark of Resistance, which is even more broken because you're getting another layer of damage resistance just by being surrounded by enemies. So when you're in there rolling, you're getting even more damage resistance. This is what's going to bring you up to 75%. While you're amplified, your special weapon final blows create a blinding explosion. You're always going to be amplified, so if you get out your special weapon, if you want to put on an arc special weapon, this doesn't count, obviously. This is just an arc energy weapon. Like, if you put on forbearance, it'll start making blinding explosions like insane okay so you've seen all that and now i'm going to show you guys the armor mods to perfect this i like to have a hundred resilience nothing else really matters because your dodge you're going to always get it back anyway so you don't need high mobility i would just go for high resilience high reco so i have an arc helmet with hands on and well of striking well of striking is going to um when we pick up elemental wells we get our melee charge just in case we mess up and then on our liars handshake or gauntlets we have melee well maker so our melee kills can spawn arc well as well as focusing strike so we get class ability energy when we get a melee kill. And then on our chest piece, font of might. Because we're running arc and we're going to be generating arc wells, this is just going to buff our arc weapons. So after I get a melee kill, I'm gonna it's going to buff my anarchy, my nations of beast damage significantly. And then on my boots, I have seeking wells. That's just so when I melee, I don't have to float around. The wells will chase me. And then, big important here, on my cloak, I have well of ion. Picking up an arc elemental well will cause your next melee to be increased damage, which is just going to add another layer of insane damage. Okay, with all that, you guys have pretty much seen the whole build. I want to show you guys a little bit of it in action. How you would use it in a fight here is you just want to pull up to an enemy, dodge, charged melee. And then you're gonna have your you're gonna have your dodge back again, dodge, and watch how many people are gonna die here. Charged melee, and they all died. And you're just gonna keep doing this thing and keep building your combination blow. You're doing the most damage when your combination blow is at three. Now let's see how much damage it does to this boss. Over a hundred thousand in just one part of the melee there. And it's one-shotting these nightmares. And as you can see, all the wells are chasing after me. This is really good. Yeah, so super, super simple build. If you guys want to build for each other character, let me know. This is actually a good end game build. It is very good right now. It is likely going to get nerfed because of the damage resistance. I'll show that off here as well. Go. I'm dancing in a fucking Nova Bomb! <laughs> Dude, I just started a Nova Bomb! If you guys enjoyed this build, like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys.